let's go downstairs and I wasn't gonna record going downstairs. I didn't think there'd be any interest in that, but maybe there is. There it is, the joy toy. Let's get it and let's see what it's all about. So sometimes things come through the front door, put it on the table, then we bring it upstairs and play with it. <laughs> all right, I'm opening it on the way. I should just wait. Let's slide it out though. Whoa, it looks cool. It looks dark. It looks mysterious. Hopefully it functions well. Okay, now this guy, we're gonna put him over there because we're not using him right now. So let's open this up. Wow. Wow. It looks legit. It looks like Kill Bill. Holy crap, I almost don't even want to touch it. It looks so amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I'm impressed by the detail of this. Oh my God, look at the ponytail. Oh my gosh, look at the skirt. Oh wow, this is too cool. Look at the, look at the uh, garter around the leg of bullets. Look at the grenades on the side. Man, this thing is detailed. This is really cool. She has brown gloves, so I can't just replace them with the other characters because she does the same thing where it kind of does that weird thing. I don't love that. Both her hands don't do it. It's interesting. They only have it for the left hand. Must be something to do with the weapons. All right. Her hair is amazing. It comes off her face. That's super cool. Her head seems to move well. Her neck is different from the other character. So hopefully she don't fall apart as easy. And hopefully she's a good fighter. My gosh, look, she looks awesome. All right, let's do it with Hit Girl. Really quickly, let's just look. She has underwears. Whoa. She has underwears right now though. Does this come off? Wait a second. No, that doesn't come off. Well, unless her body snaps off and then this stuff comes off. Yeah, this stuff does come off. And it looks like her body does snap off, but I don't want to do it because she seems tight and I don't want to get it loose. I mean, we don't have to put underwears on her, so. She's got a skirt. The skirt is super cool. She looks like Kill Bill. She really does. She looks like Uma Thurman from the movie Kill Bill. So let's dump these. She's got a baseball bat. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Everything else I'm not interested in. I'll just keep repeating it over and over again. I really don't like guns. This hand is cool. She's got another hand. She's got four hands. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's good. But all the hands on the left do the same movement, that, that this kind of weird movement. So it really doesn't make a difference. But let's see if... Uh, well, I guess you got to change her hand to hold a bat. But anyway, there's the bat in proportion to the size of her body. You know, so you can see that. So that's cool. I'm not going to change her hand to do it, though. I'm just going to do the battle between Uma Thurman from Kill Bill. <laughs> Obviously, it's not her. But um, she looks a lot like her. And she's going to do some pretty cool karate moves just like her. So let's see how she does against Hit Girl. And Hit Girl is ready for the next battle. She's rejuvenated. She took a break, she had some drink and some vitamins, and she's ready to fight again. Like 100% brand new. All right. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get these arms good. All right, here we go. Let's get serious here. Let's see who wins this fight between Uma Thurman. Oh, she has like a cool bag in her back too. Man, I'm really super digging this character. All right, here we go, guys. Let's do this epic battle right now. Come on, it girl. You got the last fight. You can do this. And then Uma Thurman. <laughs> I have a lot of boxes and stuff next to me. I should move these over so I can do this battle with some space. Okay. Here we go. She goes for the kick. She's going to land it. And then she grabs her and takes her down. That was a quick takedown. But Uma Thurman, which I'm just calling her now, grabs both sides of Hit Girl's face and starts to like scratch her a little bit. So she gets out of there. She's trying to get out of there. Ugh. And she's not happy. She's like, did you just try to scratch my face? And the girl just came up, 
with a sweeping kick. Hit Girl blocked it and put it down. But Hit Girl fell while putting it down and the girl was able to kind of roll away, but she also fell down. Now Hit Girl gets up. Dunja does a kind of flip. I wish Hit Girl had more mobility. She's a little, she's a little tense, like she didn't stretch enough, but she does a flip and a kick. Uma already turned around, comes up, gets a clean kick to the side. Oh, that wasn't good. And now she comes up, swings her leg, but nobody was there. But it was more of a defense, offense kind of thing. Just to make sure Hit Girl didn't have something coming her way. Now Hit Girl gets up. She goes on one knee. And she sweeps. And when the girl moves, it was a fake. Hit Girl didn't go through with it. It was fake momentum. And then she threw herself. So it's like she brings a leg over and then drops the weight of the leg and comes back with the other. So this is what this looks like in fast motion. She goes to kick the leg with the sweep. Uma moves over. She throws her weight back, comes with the kick as Uma's, oh, boom. That is the hardest kick in the game so far. That was a hard one. It spun Uma all the way around. Hit girl on the other side of it, rolls over, gets up, and comes really hard on a knee. Shoo. Boom! Onto the back of Uma Thurman's leg. Uma goes, yow! She screamed, actually. She went, yow! Because that was like an ultimate Charlie horse. She hit her in the back of the leg. Ah! Oh. Now hit girl comes, wraps her arm around her neck. And does a chokehold and pulls her up and just squeezes her, squeezes the heck out of her. And she's got her by the neck and she's got in a very compromising situation. And Uma Thurman taps out. She's tapping the leg, tap, tap, tap. Hey girl lets her go. She rolls over to the floor kind of collects herself and Uma gets back up, comes over to her and asks her if she's all right. She gets up, yep, she's all right. And then they do the shake because every time they do the training fight, they always do a shake. They look at each other in the eye and they say, good fight. Well, Uma got to turn her head a little bit. There you go. They look at each other in the eye and say, good fight. And this girl, I'm happy to report, did not fall apart during the fight. And I'm pulling on her, and she's not falling apart. So, you know what? I think maybe... I think maybe we keep her... Well, definitely keep her. She didn't fall apart. But the maybe part is return some, some of the other ones, the two that didn't work out so well. And I'm now I'm nervous to order more of these, because they're really expensive. Uh, well, anyway, for the review, I could tell you guys that these two with the skirts are worth buying. They're definitely cool, and they match perfectly with the G.I. Joe guys. Like, the size is the same and everything. And, yeah. So, there you go. That's the review. These two characters were the best, and the other characters, not so much. This one was falling apart a little too much, but... She's pretty cool, like I said before. Maybe we can use her in some like less aggressive stuff. Like maybe she can drive one of the cars. She can do some races. She could drive the helicopter and stuff like that. But actual fighting, not so much. Every now and again. And if she does and she falls apart, well then I guess she lost the fight. <laughs> and that's going to be for like story mode. Right now I'm just getting used to the characters, opening them up feeling them out, seeing their fighting capabilities in terms of movability and like, you know, the design and stuff like that. And then once I have all the characters that I feel really comfortable playing with, then I'll bring them into the story mode and I'll start doing like some outdoor stuff by the pool and some like really cool setups and scenes and stuff. Plus, I want to see if the boat I have floats. I have a boat and anybody who has a boat always wants to know if their boat floats. And the boat is inside of this box right here. 